Wands up witches and wizards, today is an exciting day because I got an acceptance letter into Bex Rose Academy for Magical Beings. Now, it might not be Hogwarts, but this is still really cool. And if you have a little witch or wizard in the making, I'm going to show you how you can create something like this inside of Canva. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to canva.com. In the top right hand corner, we are going to go to create a design and we are going to drop down to custom size. Be sure to change this here because when you first pop on, it is going to say pixels and you want it in inches. We're going to do eight and a half by 11 because let's be real here. We're not trying to do any kind of fancy paperwork. We're going to go with a regular standard size paper and when you hit create a design, a new tab is going to pop up and you're going to be dumped into a blank document like this. Just for reference, this is what we're going to be creating. Now, quick disclaimer, I have Canva Pro and Canva Pro allows me access to all of the things inside of Canva that they have to offer. There's some clip art and backgrounds and things like that. This particular parchment paper is included in their Pro account but I did do some things and I took some time to create a parchment paper that looks like this. I made it out of a bunch of free assets under the free Canva account, but it did take me a minute. In order to make things a little easier for you, I have downloaded this and I'm offering it for free to help jumpstart your creative journey. So I do want to show you how I got there in case you guys want to make some changes. We're going to select this white background here. We're going to go up to the color selection and I'm actually going to use this as our base color. The key code is EDB985. And then we're going to look up parchment. You're going to go on over to the element and you're going to type in parchment. You can use these little sliding buttons up here and scroll down to free. So it'll pull up everything that is actually available to you. I ended up using this parchment paper here. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this to 90 degrees and stretch this out. And then I ended up going down in the transparency just a little bit to bring some more of that brown in. So after that is all set up, what I ended up doing was type in fade box or box fade. Fade box or box fade. I want to say that I typed in box fade, but we're getting the same results. So I found this little white fade thing here and I drug this onto the center and stretched it out just a little bit. And then I lowered the transparency here. And then I grabbed a, another one. Let me type in box fade. And find the free ones. So then I found these black fade ups to kind of darken up the edges a little bit. So I stretched them out and pulled it down and then I also lowered the transparency on this one some and I copied and pasted this around to give each of the edges that faded dark look kind of stretched it out a little bit lowered this one raised this one up a little bit move this over actually I need to Stretch this out a little bit. Oh, and bring in this little fade here. I feel like this needs to be nope. faded just a little bit more. So that is roughly what I did to create the parchment thing because I couldn't find any really good free parchment available inside of Canva. I went to a couple other stock websites and I couldn't find any that I was just like absolutely thrilled with. 
So I went with creating my own so that I could show you guys that you can do different things inside of Canva. You just have to kind of think outside of the box a little bit. But as I mentioned, I do have this particular parchment paper that I made earlier downloaded and you can find that in the link, like the links down below so that you can kind of jumpstart your entire journey into creating this thing. So if you do want to use the parchment paper that I'm providing you, all you have to do in order to upload that is literally just drag and drop them onto the screen and both of them will pull up and then you can adjust the sizing by clicking it and then using those handles around it to stretch it out to fill the screen. So the three fonts that I ended up going with, we have um, EFCO Brookshire, there is Crimson Pro, and then I also used Signature for the signature itself. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up some text. We'll create three of these just so that we can get the fonts on the screen. So we're going to select this title up here. We're going to go on up to the left middle side, click on the font here, and we're going to type in EFCO Brookshire, and it should pop up. So now we have our title. We're going to click on the next one and we are going to type in Crimson Pro. And our last one is literally just signature. So now that we have all of our fonts on screen, what we need to do now is pick an awesome school name. Now you can use some that are already out there, but I did want to try to go a little original with this one. So I ended up Googling cool names for wizard schools and this little fantasy name generator popped up. Now when you go onto the site, you do see 10 different options right out the gate. And I just cycled through this quite a few times and picked different parts of the words that I liked and put something together. So I ended up with Bex Rose. So I ended up with Bex Rose and I'm just gonna keep going just a little bit until I get something So I'm going to keep cycling through these things to get another combination of names and we're going to continue. After clicking on the get school names a couple of times, I think that I have one that I'm actually kind of feeling right now. So let me go ahead and put that in. It'll be... And for a subheading, we're going to go ahead and just put in School of Witchcraft and Wizarding. And we just tuck that right up underneath our title. The subtitle of my school was actually all capitalized. So in order to change that really quickly, we're going to go to these three dots up here. And then we're going to use this uppercase, lowercase, and it's going to make everything capitalized. Go ahead and get rid of that. So now that we have the name of our school and what it is that this school does, I'm going to go ahead and copy the title of this. And I'm going to create like a crest for the background. So we're going to have D and then copy this and we'll do a K and we'll just kind of overlay the two of these. And for mine, what I ended up doing was lowering the transparency on it a little bit. And then I also changed the color to have it more of a brown color. So we're gonna select the letter, go up to the text color. I'm gonna pull in a color of the parchment and go just a little bit darker. And the document color should pull up here. 
then just kind of center it in the background a little bit. So now that the school title is available, I'm actually going to go ahead and head on over to the Bex Rose one, and I'm going to grab the main meat of the ladder, letting you know that you've been accepted, and I'm just going to drop that into here. I'm going to grab the Yours Sincerely from our headmaster, and in order to get this name, so I used the same little magic school thing and generated a few more, and picked and kind of merged together a few different names that popped up. I think for this one, I'm gonna go with Farah. So we have Farah Wealth Kelth representing Dexine Kelth School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I feel like Dexine Kelth kind of sounds pretty prestigious. Like you gotta be smart to get in there. You gotta have money kind of stuff. And any school that is uber prestigious, they're gonna have a long legacy of people that are going there. and. Farah Wealth Kelp happens to be the headmaster of this academy. I'm going to copy and paste over my address. So because this one is for Dexine Kelp, let's go ahead and swap out. So zooming in a little bit, I went ahead and edited the text here, the welcoming letter, to match our Dexine Kelp School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And now I'm going to edit our address. So we're going to change this to Dexine Kelp. I also used this to come up with a really different sounding address. So let's go with. Lufora. Lufora Drive over in London. I really did just pick some random letters or random numbers here. And for Headmaster at Dexar or at Dexign, we have Farewell Kelf. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I feel like Dexine kind of sounds like a super prestigious wizard school. So I'm going to look up some books. I'm going to use these little radio sliders up here and we're going to go down to free. And I'm just going to search for a nice outline of books. So I'm going to click on this one because I absolutely love that this particular book set has like the roped twine kind of thing going on. And I feel like that's, that's up to par with like what we've grown to love about the wizarding world. I am going to change this color here to match more of our parchment paper. Because I want it to be there, but I don't want it to be so overwhelming that like it takes away from what's actually going on. Because it's a pretty huge deal. I mean, you have been accepted into Dexine Kelp. I'm going to go ahead and edit some of this font, the colors here. I don't want it super dark, so I'm just going to go with a lighter kind of black color. All right, so now that we have this thing all together, I, I really think that Dexine Kelp is probably a huge castle. So I typed in castle up in the search bar here, still on the free pricing, and I ended up finding this really awesome photo of a castle. So I'm going to drop this in in the background. I'm going to lower the transparency here. And I'm going to change it to a light brown. I actually think I'm going to move our DK down here. Actually, I think it kind of looks nice behind our text up here. So. Let me 
shrink that a little bit and kind of center it on this line. Adjust both of these. This is where we're at with our deck sign Kelp. Over on Bex Rose, I do have the welcome to at like that little curve thing, and I'm going to show you really quick how you can achieve that. So I'm going to copy and paste this School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We're going to go up to Effects, and over here on the left-hand side, you're going to notice that there's different styles. Under Shape, we're going to hit that Curve button. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you're going to see that they, it defaults to like a curve of 49. We're going to go ahead and drop this down just a little bit. Let's do 20 and see what that looks like. Let's do Welcome to... And we're just going to center that up at the top there. Actually, bring this down. All of our text. Hit those three buttons. We're going to position it in the center. And bring this down just a little bit. So once you have your welcoming letter, we're actually gonna go ahead and duplicate this page. When we print this off, we wanna make sure that we have a front and a back to this. So we have our front of the letter and the back of it, I just printed off just the parchment paper itself. Once you have your page duplicated, we're just gonna delete all of the text information because we just don't need it. I'm gonna take this out. So what would be really cool, and I didn't think about this until now, uh, so on the back of mine, it's literally just parchment paper, right? But if we were to stretch out this castle, center it on the page, and then change the color of this, what you can do now is download both of these images and print them off. So we're going to go up to the top right hand corner, going to share, go to download, and we're going to download these files. Once they've been downloaded, all I did was right click on it and I went to print full page on my printer, high quality, bright paper, I'm using cardstock, and then I fed it back into the printer again and printed off the back of the parchment paper. That's it guys, we now have our acceptance letters into the wizarding school of our choice and if you're looking to do some more cool things inside of Canva, be sure to join me in this video over here. I'm going to show you how you can create your own potions inside of Canva.